Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Z transform. In this session, we are going to solve some simple problems. Find Z of minus 3 volt power n plus 1 by 3 power n minus 7. First of all, we recall the formula. Z of a power n is Z divided by Z minus a. Z of minus a volt power n is Z divided by Z plus a. Problem over. Z of 1 is simply Z by Z minus 1. Now, let us write the given problem. From the linear property, I can split the Z transform for each problem. 1 by 3 power n can be written as 1 by 3 whole power n. And then Z of 7 is nothing but 7 into Z of 1. So, for this problem, the answer is going to be Z by Z plus 3 because this is the formula we have mentioned. For this one, Z divided by Z minus 1 by 3. For the third one, minus 7, Z of 1 is Z by Z minus 1. Now, taking LCM, we will be getting 3Z divided by 3Z minus 1. Rewriting this, we will be getting like this. Z by Z plus 3 plus 3Z by 3Z minus 1 minus 7Z by Z minus 1. Next problem, we have to find Z of E power An. Just think a little, you can find it. We know the formula Z of A power N is Z by Z minus A. So, Z of E power An is nothing but e power a whole power n. So, I do not bother whatever it is inside, whether it is e power a or simply a or b or 2 or minus 3, it does not matter. So, the problem is going to be very, very simple. Now, z of e power a n can be written as z of e power a whole power n. So, my answer is z divided by z minus e power a. Similarly, for e power minus a n, I am going to write z of e power minus a n is nothing but z of e power minus a whole power n. Just apply the formula, we will be getting the answer z divided by z minus e power minus a. Next problem, sometimes they will ask a different problem in terms of t. In the basics, I have given the definition for t. Now, let us see how to solve this. We know that z of f of t is nothing but z of f of n into capital T. Therefore, z of a t can be written as z of e power a n capital T. Now, this can be written as e power a t whole power n. Now, using the formula, I can write the answer immediately. Z divided by Z minus e power a t. Next, we are going to solve a very, very important problem z of sin n theta or z of cos n theta. Now, either they ask cos n theta or sin n theta, we are going to solve together. Just remember the formula for e power i n theta. Let us consider a equal to e power i theta, then a power n is equal to e power i n theta. It can be written as e power i theta whole power n. On the other hand, e power i n theta is nothing but cos n theta plus i sin n theta. In the similar way, e power i theta is simply cos theta plus i sin theta. So, with this basic idea, let us go into the problem. So, z of a power n is z by z minus a. e power i n theta, just now I said, we can write it as e power i theta whole power n. So, applying this formula, we will be getting z by z minus e power i theta. We know that e power i theta is simply cos theta plus i sin theta. So, z minus cos theta plus i sin theta. Now, split the real and imaginary parts. z divided by z minus cos theta is the real part minus i sin theta is the imaginary part. And it is very obvious, we know that the complex number i should not be in the denominator. But here i is in the denominator. Therefore, we have to multiply and divide by its conjugate. The conjugate is going to be z minus cos theta plus i sin theta divided by z minus cos theta plus i sin theta. And we know that a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. But 
a minus i b into a plus i b is going to be a square plus b square because of this i. Therefore, I am going to write this as z into z minus cos theta plus i sin theta denominator will become z minus cos theta whole square because of a square plus sin square theta. Simplifying the denominator, we will be getting z square plus cos square theta minus 2z cos theta plus sin square theta. We know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1 and I just keep the numerator as it is z minus cos theta into z plus i into z sin theta. Now, equating the real and imaginary parts, this is going to be my real part and z sin theta is going to be my imaginary part. We will be getting like this, z of cos n theta plus i into z of sin n theta is equal to z into z minus cos theta divided by the denominator plus i into z into sin n theta divided by the same data in the denominator. Now, equating the real and imaginary parts, we get z of cos n theta and z of sin n theta. The problem gets over. So, denominator is going to be the same z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. If it is sin n theta, the numerator is z sin theta. If it is cos n theta, the numerator is z square minus z cos theta. Or if you want, you can simply write z into z minus cos theta. Whatever you like, you can take it. Next, they will ask in MCQ, what is z of cos n pi by 2? In this situation, you have to remember the formula if it is MCQ. If it is 8 mark question or part B question, you have to find z of cos n theta as like the previous problem and you have to write z into z minus cos theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1. Now, theta is nothing but pi by 2 and it is very clear cos pi by 2 is nothing but cos 90 degree that is 0. So, wherever there is a cos term, it will become 0. This is 0 and this is 0. Therefore, my answer is going to be simply z square in the numerator and z square plus 1 in the denominator. You can see the answer. Therefore, cos n pi by 2 is z square divided by z square plus 1. Now, z of sin n pi by 2. Same thing, write the formula and we know that sin pi by 2 is 1. So, wherever we have sin, we will be getting 1 and cos pi by 2 is 0. Therefore, this term will become 1 and the cos term will become 0. So, the answer is very simple, z divided by z square plus 1. So, just remember the MCQ, z of cos n pi by 2 is going to be z square divided by z square plus 1. z of sin n pi by 2 is going to be z divided by z square plus 1. So, if it is a part B question, then derive this. From this, you can find the solution. If it is a part A question or MCQ, just remember the formula and choose the answer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.